So when we're talking about parallel and perpendicular lines, parallel lines are two lines that go in uh, and have the same uh, direction. Or parallel means same slope. For perpendicular lines, perpendicular lines are two lines that form a 90 degree angle. Now, the interesting thing about perpendicular lines is they're considered the negative reciprocal. So the line of one would be the um, m, and the other one would be negative one over whatever that m value is. So let's go ahead and look at two cases. Let's say I have line one, and it goes through points negative two, 11, and 0, 7. And then I have line 2, and that line goes through negative 4, 12, and through negative 2, 8. First, I want to find the slope of line 1. I do that by, I always label my values x1, y1, x2, y2. So my slope is 7 minus 11 over 0 minus a negative 2, which is negative 4 over a uh, positive 2, and it's a positive 2 because I subtract a negative, turns that into a positive. So my slope here is negative 2. So let's do the slope for the second line. I'm going to label them x1 and y1, x2 and uh, y2. So my slope of this line is y2, which is 8, minus y1, which is 12, divided by x2, negative 2 minus a negative 4. And that negative and negative turns that into a positive. And that is going to leave me with a negative 4 over a 2, which is still a negative 2. All right, so let's compare those two slopes. Let's look what I have. The slope of my line 1 was a negative 2. The slope of my line 2 was also a negative 2. So that tells me that line 1 is parallel to line 2. And the only time that happens is if the slopes are exactly the same. All right, so we're doing the same thing. They want us to decide whether or not the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So let's go ahead and find the slope of line one, which I'm gonna go ahead and call that M1. And that is X1 and Y1, and my second point is X2 and Y2. All right, so it's going to leave me with the fact that I have negative 130y2 minus y1. Yes, the numbers are a little bit big, but it's not a problem. And then y2 is negative 15 minus 14. And that gives us a negative 261 all divided by a negative 29. And those two actually evenly divide into and our first slope for line one is nine. Let's go ahead and look at line two now. So slope for line two, which I'm gonna call M2. Same idea, I'm gonna label that X1, Y1, X2, and Y2. I go ahead and subtract. That gives me at 10 minus 8, all divided by 0 minus 18, which gives me uh, 2 over negative 18. I reduced that. Both of those numbers are divisible by 2, so that leaves me with a negative 1 over 9. Now, as I go to compare these slopes, this slope here is 9, is positive. The next slope is negative, so that matches the first piece. 
and they are the negative reciprocal of this. So what this tells me is that the lines, so what I know with this is that the lines are perpendicular to each other.